So let's say we were asked to find the stationary points of y is equal to x minus 2 over 2x minus 3 all squared. So first of all we're going to use the quotient rule in order to differentiate it, find dy by dx. So start with the bottom, that's 2x minus 3 all squared, times by the derivative of the top, which is just 1. Take away the top, times by the derivative of the bottom. So using the quotient rule, the 2 comes out to the front, as does the 2 inside, because we differentiate what's inside comes outside. And so that'd be 4, lots of 2x minus 3, and then take 1 off the power, so that would just leave me with 2x minus 3 all over the bottom squared, so 2x minus 3 to the power of 4. So if I tidy this up, I have 2x minus 3 squared take away 4 lots of x minus 2 times 2x minus 3 divided by 2x minus 3 to the 4. So I'm going to divide through by 2x minus 3 because all three terms have that as a factor, I'm going to be left with a singular 2x minus 3 here, and take away 4 lots of x minus 2 there, because the 2x minus 3 goes, all over 2x minus 3 now cubed, so I've divided through by 2x minus 3. So if I tidy that up, I've got 2x take away 4x, which makes minus 2x, and I've got a minus 3 take away 4 lots of minus 2, so that's plus 8, so 5 take away 2x, all over 2x minus 3 cubed. Okay, so that is the derivative of the original function. So really this should say find the stationary point because there is only going to be 1, because dy by dx is 0 when the numerator of the derivative is 0, so when 5 minus 2x is 0, and so x would have to be 5 halves. Okay? So that is the x-coordinate, the stationary point. I would then need to plug that in to my function, my original curve, Okay, in order to work out the y-coordinate. So, 5 halves take away 2, divided by 2 lots of 5 halves, uh, take away 3 squared. And that gets me 1 eighth. So when x is 5 halves, y is 1 eighth, and so that is the location of the singular stationary point for this curve.